What's up guys, Bobby here from Slick Text, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up and customize a web signup form. Ready, let's check it out. So on the screen here, I have a nice little signup form that you guys can create as a landing page or embed onto a web page on your site. On the dashboard, go over to the Marketing Tools tab, top right, and in the Marketing Tools tab, you're gonna notice an option here that says Opt-in Web Form, okay? Now I have some uh, web forms here. We're just gonna ignore those and we're gonna create the same one that we see on that previous page, all right? So we're gonna tap the green button that says create a new web form. On the next page here, you're gonna see your options on the left to customize the web form and then the web form preview on the right. In the basic setup here, let's go ahead and give this a name. And in this example, we're gonna do a landing page. Okay, the only difference there is that in this option in section one, you can either choose to embed it on a site and get the HTML code at the end, or you can create a landing page, which is just the link they tap on. So uh, let's give it a description here. And what are we gonna use this for? Now this is important to note. There's, there's two types of forms that you guys can create here with Slick Text. Number one, a web signup form for new people. These are people that are not on your subscriber list already, but when they submit their number, they're being added for the first time. In a web signup form, you're gonna check a box to indicate you want recurring text messages and then confirm by replying yes once you submit. That's for anybody new. So if you wanna grow your list with new people, that's the one you're gonna to wanna to use. However, there's a second option here that says capturing subscriber info. And we call that a data capture form. And uh, essentially with a data capture form, when somebody joins your list, if you're missing data, you can have them tap a link or go to this form and fill out the form with custom fields or default fields, whatever, and provide additional data for you to store on file. We're gonna focus on an opt-in form, but in my, my next video, we'll go ahead and create a data capture form. All right, so how will this be used? We're gonna do a landing page, and we want to specify the text word. I only want these people to opt into one list. However, you can make a form that allows them to select whichever list they wanna join. This one's just gonna be for a single one. And then we'll select my, uh, we'll say BB Grill list. Then let's go down to content section number two, the fields. Uh, let's do, let's see, what would we have in there? First, last email. So let's turn on first, last email and birthday. Now, when I turn these fields on, the only thing that's really required in a signup form is the mobile number, right? Because we're an SMS marketing company, you can't create a profile in your slip text account if there's no mobile number. Everything else can be optional or you can click the gear symbol here to make this field required, all right? And all you're gonna do is switch it to required, and then close. Now, as far as everything else goes here on the screen, we're gonna leave it turned off. You can see here that I've created some custom fields and I can turn these on if I wanna collect last order date or what's your favorite color, um, anything like that, company name, employee level, uh, you name it, you can do it with a custom field. You can also create drop-down options. Now, this is more of a basic setup tutorial, but you can create drop-down options right here. I'll probably release a second video on a little bit more advanced options for your web signup form. So there's our options. Let's go down to number three and let's populate the content. Let's go ahead and browse for our logo. All right, I got a white and blue logo here. All right, and we can change the logo size. Let's give it a heading. We'll say enter to win XYZ. Now we got our heading in there. You can see on the right side, enter your information. We got the fields. And then down at the bottom, we have this compliance statement. That is needed. I would definitely not uh, adjust that or remove anything. You gotta have this optional checkbox and the compliance statement there as required by the TCPA and the CTIA. So you could add additional compliance messaging. If, you know, if your organization wants to add additional stuff to this message here, you can actually customize and add additional stuff to it. All right, I'm gonna leave the default there because that's all we need. Maybe we wanna change the, uh, the button to say submit instead of sign me up. And real quick, just so you know, the button target, what this allows you to do is once somebody hits submit, you can redirect them to a different page. All right, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use a confirmation page that we'll customize here in a moment. All right, fine print. If we wanna add some additional fine print at the bottom of this form, you can do so. And you'll notice that it'll show up here down at the bottom. Okay, we don't need any of that here. Um, so we're gonna move on down to section number four. That's gonna be the confirmation page. So considering that somebody does tap submit and they join, we wanna make sure that it's clear to them. All right, now by default, we have some content in here. I always like to change this and you might wanna say instead like reply yes to the confirmation text, dot, dot, dot. So they see this for about five seconds and then they get the confirmation text, they can reply yes to it. 
All right, so the confirmation SMS, this is the double opt-in message that they receive on their phone that they have to reply yes to. Don't stray too far away from this template. Make sure it says to complete your subscription, reply yes. Yes is the keyword or the word that they have to reply with to confirm their subscription, um, but you can customize that too. All right, so there's the confirmation page and the confirmation SMS that uh, is sent. Down here on the styles, we can get kind of creative. We can increase the width of this form. We can change the, the font, you know, give it a cool font if we want to. You know, get really crazy with it. Uh, I'm just gonna do the default font. And the background color, you could make it a solid color or you could go ahead and upload or pick from our uh, Unsplash integration. Let's search for retail. And I probably won't find the same one. Oh, there it is right there. So we can use this. This is all royalty-free content that you can use on your integrations page. You don't have to worry about paying for these because they're royalty-free, okay? And then go ahead and maybe increase the darkness of your background. This is kind of cool, right? And let's change the, the font color, okay, maybe to white. And now it's starting to look like that, uh, that web form that I showed you guys. Let's change the button color too. Maybe let's go to red. Okay, and now we're pretty much spot on. And let's go ahead and just finish this off. We're just gonna go ahead and hit save. And there it is. There's our link to our landing page. Now let's go ahead and test it out and see what it looks like when somebody joins from this landing page. All right, so on the landing page, we're just gonna fill in our information. Check the box, right? That's proving consent and uh, hit submit. In just a moment here, we'll receive a confirmation text to our phone. There it is. And there's the confirmation text. I'll go ahead and reply yes. And as soon as I do that, I receive the confirmation message back. So that's how you create a web signup form here at Slick Text. Should you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 1-800-688-6290 or email us info at slicktext.com. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.